Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I'm going to go through the motions of using a inspiration photo with a dark blue sky and an orange stripe across the horizon. And I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm willing to give it a try. That's Prussian blue. It's going right down the edge. I'm going to hit the edge of the canvas. I'm going to use my, if I can find it right now, Venetian blue that I, yes, cool. And I really think I want a little bit of purple in there, but it's going to have to be right up here. So maybe... Maybe what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this experiment will work and maybe it won't sort of thing. I want the colors to blend. But I don't know how much. I'm not sure how to get a straight line across there. Other than to scrape it once. And then go back again. That kind of worked. As long as I don't flip a lump of paint onto my phone, I'll be happy. Well, I'm going to have to go from this direction now, because obviously... I don't have enough paint left. I really wanted that a lot darker at the top. And other than putting a white line above the orange, which I guess I could, because it'll probably bleed right up into it. I do want some darker. So I'm just going to put some Prussian blue up there. And then lead it down. Learn to live with whatever I get and enjoy it. Yeah, uh-huh. Needs a little fairy moon in this indigo night sky. I'm inclined to take and touch my sta spatula to the top along the edge. Oh, that wasn't good down there. And I put my fingernail on. Oh well. Well, this is one of those firsts. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. What I really want to do, what I think I want to do, is take a Princeton Art Tool Cattle spatula. Scrape right along there. Put my line of white down. Which I hope works. And maybe I can take some of this paint on the spatula and just add it in. Cautiously, because it could just look like clouds, you know. <laughs> it's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I'm going to take 
the Arteza Golden Hour. I hope that I scraped off enough blue. And after that, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to use my Velveeta. Yes, it may require a steady hand. And it might also require a clean skewer. Am I, is my head in the way? And yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Let's use the actual orange. I really want to be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm a little unsteady. But I'm still having fun. Oh, sorry. Well, you know what? That was just a long, drawn-out line of orange. I'm going to throw my spatula in there. To let it spread out a little bit. I think there's just going to be a little tiny fairy moon and some stars in that sky. And um, I'm going to look at my picture again, and I'm going to use a bunch of purple. A little electric blue. I'm really tempted to put some onyx in there. I've got some onyx, some black. It's supposed to sort of look like clouds near mountains in the distance. Put a little Prussian blue in there too. I don't actually want any cells. I love doing that. <laughs> when nothing comes out. Alright, so try not to knock the bottles over. I could probably much more adeptly do this with a swipe card. I think. I squeeze that spatula up. It's a lot easier to squeeze the spatula than the swipe card though. I guess it is just it's still a spatula swipe. So I'm going to push all that up. And I have no idea if it's going to bleed. Whoops. I slipped and I still got away with it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I got some cells. Kind of want, kind of want to put a line of turquoise up there. So that's the picture that I wanted to make with the horizon line orange. And the pointy end of the skewer is going to come in handy for a second, just to fill in a couple of places. If I wanted to, I could probably drop a little. My phone shut off. Oh, there it is. 
see in the picture it actually has a city down below. That's not something I'm going to attempt right now. But I do want to bring it over to the edge. And clean off my spatula so I have something to to rub down with my finger. It's really, really tempting to put some of that red in. But if I put the red in, I want to do it very cautiously. And I think maybe, yeah, right there. It's a color shifting red. And it may not even work. No, I would have needed to take much more, many more chances. Oh, I see some. Cool, I got just a touch in there. And that white line of Anita's white metallic is mixing with the yellow. That's okay, because it looks like a cloud bank. I'll be touching up my edges for a while. I'm going to torch. Yeah, I kind of like that looking like a cloud bank, actually. So, super simple, sleek. Sleek and chic. That's my story. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. Uh, I got very close to what I was after. I learned a few things. I'm going to touch up my bottom edge and my, the rest of my edges where I need to. I'm going to let you guys go. Please give me a thumbs up. Check out my 19 lists of 100 videos. There's 1900 in all. They're also divided into topic and genre. My email address is below the link tree should you want to reach me to inquire about the purchase of an artwork or taking a class at the house in Springville, Florida. If you give me a thumbs up and share my videos and watch them longer, you help my placement on YouTube and I really appreciate that. The link tree is the first blue link under the video. It has my Amazon link on it that has my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, and lots of other things. And if you buy anything from that Amazon link, you help me buy art supplies and help me continue making videos for you. On the link tree is Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my website, and also Le Gallerist, which has a few select of my selections of my designs on beautiful clothing. If you're looking for less expensive clothing, look for Teespring clothing, all over, all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts, or go to pixels.com find art America. You can find that on the link tree or on my Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Totes and more will link you there also. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors has albums of artworks from YouTube. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collect uh, excuse me, <laughs> Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. My community board is on my YouTube channel and on the bottom of my YouTube channel banner are the pay PayPal and Patreon icons. If you happen to make a donation to keep the studio rolling, it will automatically enter you in the monthly drawing and you can see the exhibition video that includes the monthly drawing prizes on the end screen in the last 20 seconds. Thank you guys for all the wonderful comments that have helped keep me painting all this time and keep my morale boosted. And thank you very much for the donations that have done the same. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you. If you're new subscription, if you have a new subscription, please be welcomed. If you're not new, thank you for being here still. If you have questions, please ask me. If you need my paint pouring recipe or the recipe I use for my Amsterdam Black Cell Activator, they are both below the video underneath Show More. When you click Show More, you will find all kinds of stuff. My paint pouring recipe is there. I do torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, and I need to remember to do that right now and in a minute, at least in the center where it wasn't swiped and the paint is heavy. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means that I can leave that paint in the center heavy, and it will not crack. I'm going to definitely be fixing my edges, though. I love you guys. There are a few cells in the bottom, but they're mostly very subtle. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I know this is really super simple, but that's what I had in mind. So I will see you and on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.